Let us all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads and let us ask God's pardon and forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who grant us by glorious healing remedies while still on earth, to be partakers of the things of heaven, guide us, we pray, through this present life, and bring us to that light in which you dwell. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you? God who removes guilt and pardons sin from the remnant of its inheritance, who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt. You will cast into the depths of the sea all of our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his, is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and the scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance and the life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country, and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to one of the local citizens who sent him to his farm to tend the swine. So he longed to eat his fill of the pots on which the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hard workers have more than enough food to eat, but here I am dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against you, against heaven, and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants quickly, bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast, because this son of mine was dead and now has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field. On his way back, he neared the house. He heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned, and your father has slaughtered a fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry. And when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a younger goat to feast on my on with my friends. But when your son returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for whom you slaughtered a fattened calf, he said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel is called the Prodigal Son. And there are three characters in this Gospel. The Father, whose nature is to give and give and give. The second character is the elder son, who said yes to the father but did not carry out his word, and the elder son who re and the elder son refused to reconcile and to forgive, while the younger son is the greedy, selfish, who spent all his inheritance to non-essential matters, and the worst part is he did not value the gift or inheritance of the Father. So among the three characters in today's Gospel, who do you identify most? Are you the Father who gives and gives and gives?
without counting the cost? Or are you the elder son who refused to forgive and to be reconciled? Or are you the younger son, the selfish one, the greedy one? In the gospel, the father does not hold any grudges to any of his children. So my friends, when we are so focused with sin, when we are so selfish and greedy, we cannot enter the Father's loving embrace. We cannot enjoy and value the gift of this sacrament. And when we do not forgive, we cannot appreciate the gift of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all stand. For our Holy Father, may the Holy Spirit guide him as he leads the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Amen. Amen. For national leaders, may God be their guide in working together to ensure peace and adequate resources for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. For families facing crisis, division, or strife, may the Lord reunite them in His love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. For members of this faith community who are preparing to enter the church on Easter, May God deepen their faith in their love for Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may our loving God bring them home to his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for today's Mass is offered for Achilles Pido. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause in silence for our personal intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask you to grant our prayers, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed, God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us all stand and pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty God. For the Lord, yes. Lord for the praise and glory of the King. Through the sacred gifts we pray, O Lord, may our redemption yield its fruit, restraining, restraining us from unruly desires and leading to unworn the gifts of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Well, we to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, and so to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. 
And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end. Together we say, Holy, Holy, Lord, Lord, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy the Lord's gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Lates our vision, and all your faithful people present here. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste powers, with the Blessed Apostles, Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and make praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence we call God our Father, and we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into evil, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the freedom and power of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins. But in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer to each other Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God. Lord God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to suffer the Lamb. I have no either to suffer on the Lamb, but for you see the Lord. May your divine sacrament, O Lord, which we have received, fill the inner depths of our heart, and by its working mightily within us, make us partakers of its grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Go forth and mass is sent. Thank you. 